I'm in here in the piano room. As you can see, it's I've got a dark two-tone paint in here. And there was a chair rail that went on this before I moved in here. And I've never liked this color. I don't like that color. I mean, they're okay, but I think it could be a lot brighter and nicer. Let's see, back up here a little bit so you can see. So all I have in here in this room is the piano mostly and that case down there, that uh, cabinet down there. And I'm going to add some um, beadboard and so I can have a wainscoat all the way around it. I mean, the, the chair rail is already up there and I'm kind of like surprised that they didn't complete this. And you see I've got a really nice border on the bottom here. And the color's great. I like this color that's throughout the house. It's not quite a stark white. It's more of a ivory color and I love it. It's everywhere in the house. So that's a go. But this dark color I don't much like. I don't mind the top color. It looks kind of gold in this, uh, because the lighting is kind of those bulbs, those Edison bulbs that kind of give out a gold amber look. So it's kind of a gold look in it. So we're gonna change out that picture there for the peacock. Uh, we've got some blue accents. I am going to put the wainscot on here and I found a way to do the wainscot, which I think is gonna look really cool. Now, right here we have these frames. Now these frames came in this big box here. I ordered them and they're already done. Now, believe me, I tried everything with these frames. I tried thinking, okay, I could go get a frame from the store and maybe over at Michael's and get a frame, but everything I tried to do just wasn't right. I, there was no DIY frame. What you I mean, you could put them together, do one of those, but I found these and they're very, very light. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're made of a more of a, hmm, is that wood? It is a, it's very soft and airy, very light. So it's gonna take nothing to put these on there. So I was just gonna put these on here and paint this wall white or the off white. Mm -hmm. Then I said, well, would it be nice if I did have the beadboard? And I looked and looked and let me show you what I found. So this is a wallpaper and look at the design. It's real hard to see on camera, but it's got, let me get real close for you. Get out of the, the light so you can see it. See the lines in between it? It looks like billboard, but it's heavy duty wallpaper. See, and I'm measuring it up, pre-measuring it. And all you do is wet it down and you put it up on the wall. Now this is so nice you could just put it up the way it is. It looks like it's gonna match perfectly. It's not a stark white. It's more like my cabinets, you can see in the background, more of a little bit of an off-white ivory color. But I do have the paint that are this, that is the same color throughout the house as these cabinets and my baseboard. So probably can put it up and don't even need to paint, but I will, I'm going to paint anyway because I'm gonna put the frames up and I wanna make it look all one piece and I think the the paint is going to do that so this so far has been pretty easy I've been laying it up here I measured it exactly and then am I using this as a template and I am cutting them and I'm cutting them up ahead of time because I need I figure probably about five on one wall five on the other and then there's two sections on the short section and then another short short section uh, around the window and one around the door. So I'm gonna need about 10 of these. So I'm doing, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut these up. I see the first one I got, it's got a little bend on it. So this is probably a throwaway, but this is 55 yards. See the side of it, 55 yards. It should be enough to do everything there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and then we'll go to the next step. Here you go, here is the wallpaper on there. I'm noticing that I have a spot down there at the bottom. What happened, you can see right there. What happened right there is, when I went around the corner, the measurements from the, the baseboard chair rail down, I guess that's up a little smidgen higher. So when I used the same measurements, I used all the way around. So when I put it in, I noticed that that was a little shorter 
as I was cutting it. So when I cut the next piece, it was on the right hand side there, like halfway between the wall, I added a little bit more on the bottom. Now I believe I could probably fix that with a little paint and it won't be noticeable since I'm doing the paint all the same color on that side. But note to me, when I get ready to do the other side, that I'll need to pre-check my measurements to make sure that chair rail is matching exactly the same as this chair rail over here, which was 28 and a 16th. So that may be 28 and a quarter for all I know. So I'll need to check that. But other than that, I think it looks really great. And this is just step one. I still got a few more steps to go. So I put a coat of paint on there, as you can see. The color is the same color as in the lower border down here. And I just matched it up to that, which is kind of convenient because then I don't have to worry about it, you know, trimming it down there on the floor. And oh, I love, love the color anyway. Most of the kitchen cabinets and all the border is that color. So I thought this would be the best. Now you notice as I painted those lines that are in there, you can see these lines here going down the vertical lines. When you're right on top of them, they're noticeable, but as you kind of go around this way, they're not quite as noticeable as B board. So that's one thing I want to point out to you, decide to do this, realize that the B board is, once you start to paint it, is gonna kind of disappear. I see some touch-ups here. I see like a little touch-up right there I gotta do. But right now, it's looking pretty good. We've got a ways to go. I still have to do the other side. and there is the door. Let's go in and take a look. There it is. There is the full wainscoting that I put on this wall. Put the plates up and everything. I drove it. I just wasn't quite sure if I wanted to go all the way around, so I just left that blank there. And all the way around. Put in a... I just got a different color. I got the, the ivory colored curtains there. Put the black cabinet, that's with my music, goes in there on the other side. And there is the piano, and there is our peacock picture. very happy with it. It has turned out real well. And if you have any doubts that you can do this, I mean, don't, don't have any doubts. Sure, I already had this up, this chair rail, which is almost like a, half of the work that I did was already done. But these chair rails, if you get them and you get the right cut on the end of each side, because you're gonna have to measure it and everything, and then just slap them on the wall and glue them and you got it. So I am really happy with this. I think it looks gorgeous. Really proud of it. It takes this room from, don't, please don't shoot the piano player. She's doing the best she can. Had that ever since I was a child. I, I am so happy with it and I feel as it's, it's very fitting for this room to have all this wainscoting in here. It's the perfect addition to this particular type of room. So I'm very happy with it. And I go leading out into our back patio where the swimming pool is and everything. But this is what it looks like now. I couldn't be prouder. So when I walk by here in the evening to uh, look at the piano room, I just am really ecstatic, especially with the lights on and everything. This room that at one time I was not very happy about, that I wasn't excited about, I just walked by it. But now I can't wait to go in there. I can't wait to show it off and, and let everybody see. You've got the dark floor and to counter that, we needed a much lighter, brighter room in here and even with the 
curtain shut. You can see that there's a lot of light in here that was not in here before. So I'm very happy. Thank you everybody for watching this video and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see more, I'm just going to keep plugging away every project that I do. I'm going to put it up. So please subscribe. You never know what I'm going to be coming up with next. All right. Thank you. Bye.